I'm Matt Bichard with NairReachReit.com. I'm here at the New York Hilton for REIT Week 2017, NairReach Investor Forum. Joining me today is John Kessler, the President and Chief Operating Officer of Empire State Realty Trust. John, thanks so much for joining us. Good afternoon, Matt. It's great to be back again this year. Really excited to give you an update on Empire State Realty Trust. We had a great first quarter, leased about 200,000 feet, had good leasing spreads, good same store NOI growth, and uh, good, good momentum on the leasing side. So things are going well. And, and picking up on that, uh, during the first quarter, Empire State signed a sizable lease with Target on 34th Street. Overall, how would you characterize the health of your street retail portfolio? We feel very good about our street retail. It's about 700,000 feet, about 7% of our total business. We're roughly 94% leased today. The target lease was a very important one that we announced in the first quarter, 43,000 feet, which together with Foot Locker and Sephora, which are the other two retail tenants in that property, 112 West 34th, together are delivering $21 million in net revenue growth new rental rates in revenues in place versus the old revenues. So terrific mark to market for us. And as we look at the rest of our portfolio, most of our retail space is at the base of our office buildings, generally in very high traffic, busy pedestrian corridors. And uh, you know these are t types of locations where tenants want to be. And uh, we feel good about our prospects. And what potential do you see to grow NOI from re either redevelopment or releasing of <clears throat> space? We've got tremendous re potential to grow our income in the portfolio. Today we estimate about 110 million of revenue growth opportunity in our portfolio over the next five to six years. It's made up of a number of different components. We've got contractual uh, rent, which is either in a, uh, where we signed a lease but it hasn't commenced, or the lease has commenced but we're still in a free rent period. That's about 40 million of growth. We have an additional 40 million of growth that we estimate from lease up of vacant space. Uh, which has already been redeveloped. And then we have another, call it 30 million of growth that we see from the ongoing redevelopment of our remaining office and retail portfolio. So in aggregate, that's 110 million, which is very material relative to our in place NOI, which is about $362 million as of uh, first quarter, trailing 12. Now looking more specifically at the Empire State Building, how are renovation efforts going there? And what about the leasing prospects at this point? Renovation of the Empire State Building is going extremely well. That, that project uh, really started about 10 years ago, and today we only have about 250,000 feet of office space that we have not redeveloped out of roughly 2.7 million square feet. We've been uh, modernizing every single elevator in the building. We're about 84% complete with that. And uh, you know we've really created uh, an urban campus, very special uh, project, which has been doing very well in the leasing market. We have tremendous amenities and tenants only fitness center, uh, fine dining restaurant, seven, uh, a total of seven restaurants on site. And we've been attracting world-class tenants, people like JC DeCoe, who were welcoming to two floors at the Empire State Building. Uh, we signed that lease uh, recently and we're, we're thrilled to have them. So very happy with the progress we're making in an Empire State Building. John, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Matt. For more from REIT Week 2017, be sure to visit REIT.com.